Mackenzie. So today I'm going to show you guys my travel makeup, outfit, and carry-on essentials. Before we get started, click the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed because we are almost at 50,000 and guys, that will be my New Year's goal. I never thought in a million years, or at least this year, that I would get to 50,000 because I was at 5,000 when I set that goal and I was like, that's never going to happen in this year and it, oh my guys we're at 47,000 and yeah so that will even if we don't get 50,000 this close just already has me excited so don't forget to click the subscribe button to help me get to that goal and there will be a prize for you guys or some video or something so I travel a lot especially long trips on airplanes because I'm from Boston but live in Southern California so those plane rides <gasps> Makeup is really simple. Honestly, when I'm traveling, I just like to wear a moisturizer because my face is really prone to getting dry skin, especially on planes because it's recycled air. You can even use these for like school days when you're running super late. So yeah, let's just get into the makeup. <laughs> So starting with a clean face, I have no makeup on. I'm taking Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion and applying this all over my face. I like to have a super moisturized face for when I'm flying because, like I said, the really dry air. So that is what I do. And then I take Smashbox's High Definition Concealer, and this stuff is amazing. It'll cover pretty much everything. So I put this on any blemishes or any spots that I'm really concerned about, you know, don't want to freak anybody out on the plane. And now I take Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Concealer and place this underneath my eyes just again to not scare anybody with those crazy dark bags because I'm usually very tired when I fly. And I go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender sponge like I did with my concealer. I forgot to mention that. But I love this thing and I love the concealer as well. And that is all for my face makeup. It's so easy. I have to do my brows because I feel like it always brightens up anybody's face so I take Whitening Lightning's brow bar to go and I go ahead and just fill in my eyebrows like normally. I don't really know how to show you guys. If you want like an eyebrow routine video comment down below and I should do that for you guys but um, yeah I just fill in my eyebrows. And then this step is very optional. I never really do this, but I decided to show you guys because sometimes I do. But I take the Naked 2 Basics palette and I take the color Cover, I think it was, and I just blend this into my crease for a little bit of definition if I am, you know, I don't know why I'd want to. And then I take Makeup Forever's, uh, I think it's called Smoky Extravagant Mascara, and that is it. That is it for the makeup. Friends and family get so now for my outfit, whenever I travel I like to have a plaid shirt with me because you can throw it on when you get cold and it's super cute. So I'm wearing this plaid shirt from American Eagle as well as my shirt is also from American Eagle. These flats are from Target and I love wearing flats because they're super easy to slip on and off at security and my leggings are from Target. So now for the carry-on, I feel like I've gotten very good at packing a carry-on that is light and I've stuck to just like kind of one bag and I used to have like 5 million bags packed into one and a laptop case and yeah. The bag that I usually bring for a carry-on is this Louis Vuitton, I think this is called the, called like the lock and key bag or something like that but I'm in love with it. Oh, this is like a perfect bag. I just like having a black leather bag as a carry-on because it's very just classic. It's a pretty big bag that fits a lot of stuff and it's actually what's in here is actually what I bring because I'm about to leave for a flight like in less than a week so I had to pack my carry-on. So what's in here is what I actually bring, trust me. In a zippered pouch, just I like to isolate and for effects I actually have a plane ticket. Um, my plane ticket and my driver's license. You pull these out a lot at the airport and to be honest, I hate throwing my license back in my wallet and zipping it up because then it's just a struggle to find my wallet and find my license. Um, I make sure that it's in there before I zipper it. I'm very cautious about that kind of stuff and not losing it. The next thing is my phone charger in this pocket because I like to have a phone charger. When I get to the airport, I'm usually very early because I'm very cautious about that stuff now since I missed my flight a little bit ago. So I like to have my phone charger with me just in case my phone dies and I need a ride or an Uber or something. And then in the second pocket, I just keep kind of beauty things and I don't like to bring a lot with me, but when I do go home, like I said, I want to kind of look refreshed and cute when I get off the plane, which is ridiculous sounding, but whatever. I keep a hair tie because ain't nobody got time for just having like long hair and being on a seven hour flight. So 
hair tie. And then I only keep a few makeup products with me, like the necessity. So I have Chapstick, which this is the Burt's Bees uh, Pink Grapefruit. It's alright, whatever. Um, I have the lip color that I'm wearing right now. The lip color can change. I don't even have to have a lip color. But this is Max Please Me. I like to keep a concealer and a mascara, preferably smaller tubes or travel tubes. Then for the main compartment. So the first thing I like to have is my iPad. So I like to download at least one movie before I go on a long flight because it cuts kind of like the flight time in half and then the other half I'm usually sleeping. And then I also like to bring a book just in case I can't fall asleep, which has happened so many times and I've been left without a book. So currently I'm reading after. And then obviously I keep my wallet in here. I love this wallet. I've had it for probably two years and I never want to give it up. And then I keep a snack in here because I don't like to pay for airport food because it's very expensive. So I am currently, this is what I brought on my flight last time. This is the Quest Bar in S'mores and oh my gosh, this is their new flavor and it is amazing. And then the last thing is very weird, but I was traumatized when I was 10 years old. I had an open kind of cup of coke on my tray table and there was so much turbulence and I was just like a little 10 year old girl wearing a sundress and freaking out trying to cover my coke like while the airplane is going through turbulence so I'm like Aah! and like it's going all over me and I did not have an extra change of clothes so it was very traumatizing so I always bring clothes so I just always carry an extra shirt with me because I don't want to be a little traumatized 10 year old again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.